don't trumpet very often, but this is, I think, the fourth time I've won one of these awards. Uh, I won um, two awards in Liverpool when I was uh, for the pubs I did for Kingsbury mm -hmm. in the in the 90s, and uh, the bridge I was talking about was the bridge in. I think the bridge actually won this award a few years ago as well. I think, and in those days you've got a brass plaque. No. So uh, I, I would say cameras are now sort of uh, on a, on a shot. <laughs> so sadly, the value of the award has gone down. And to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't apply for the conservation award, and that was pure laziness on our part, really. Um, and in fact, uh, I got told off by when we went down to Burton on Trent, John Rowe and I went down to to, uh, to get the, the, the sort of lightweight uh, version of, of, the, of the award. Um, and when was that? A few, about six weeks ago, maybe? Yeah. Um, and um, we were sort of chastised because we said we should have applied for the conservation board, but it involved um, a lot more form filling and photographs and writing. But in actual fact, what we have done with this pub is we have put a lot of effort into conserving a lot of the original features. So although I really appreciate the Joe Goodwin Award, I think we should have, next time we should try and put a bit more effort in and go for the conservation award. And the, there are a lot of things that people don't see in this pub, and perhaps one of the compliments is that people come in here and say, uh, oh, isn't it fantastic how this pub's being preserved, and aren't you lucky to have all those mirrors on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, so, well, actually there was nothing on the walls, uh, maybe a bit of uh, graffiti, or, um, but which had been painted over. Um, latterly, the pub had been, uh, I think, painted just one colour throughout the really. And it was, it was very, very sad. But my sort of connection with this pub goes back um, many, many years, and that was one of the the first pubs that I drank in with the chap who's just walked in, actually. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, Phil probably remembers us uh, sort of drinking in the cardigan and playing pool down here when we were uh, in our uh, teens, and uh, and perhaps uh, even underage drinking in pubs in Leeds. Oh, no, <laughs> don't say that. No, no. So, uh, and, that's, and that's quite a few years ago. Um, so, you can imagine, but... I, I kind of fell in love with this pub um, from then, and, and, and uh, I kind of made a promise to myself, and one that I never thought would be fulfilled, that if, if the pub ever came on the market, I would, I would buy it. And never thinking ever I would be able to buy this pub, never thinking I had a chance of even buying the pub. And, um, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, the pub has fallen into, has fallen into disrepair, and the last owners of this pub, who were Green King, decided that it didn't fit any of their retail formats and didn't work for them, so uh, they put it on the market. And um, rather sort of controversially, we were bidding against a community group, and at first we thought, well, maybe we can work with the community group and uh, do a kind of joint venture, but um, very quickly, kind of realised that there were a lot of conflicts of opinions and with sort of a hundred shareholders who wanted everything from a post office in here um, and to sell groceries, um, you know, which is kind of the model that works in a village, but when you've got a post office it's sort of 50 hours, it kind of um, didn't work. So at that point, and then there was someone else who said, we've got to sell Carl in at um, two pounds a pint. Because, uh, so I thought, hmm, okay. And, I made myself unpopular with the, with the group, but in actual fact, this, this group, the community group, never actually drank here in the pub before, and they haven't drunk in the pub since, apart from this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so we have one. You can't keep running out of the pub. <laughs> but there's a, there's a tremendous amount of history with this place, and uh, as people who know me uh, realise, I mean, I'm very keen on the history of of, uh, of brewing and, and pubs. And what I really liked about this wasn't just the pub, but the fact that it's got a, its original brew house. And if you go back to sort of Victorian times, there were probably a 
120, maybe more pubs in Leeds brewing their own beer with a little brew house attached. And most of these brew houses have disappeared or been absorbed into the pub so that they're not really recognisable. And this was quite unique in that it still had its tower brew house. And, um, and so I wanted to preserve that as well. We can't really do much with it because the condition of it isn't great. Um, but I uh, you know, had this great idea that maybe we should put our sort of eight barrel brewery mm. in there. But uh, then when I realised how much that was going to cost, I kind of went off that idea. But, um, For now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so so there's, a, there's a tremendous amount of um, passion that's gone into refurbishing this. And it's been a place to put some of these sort of brewery mirrors that I've picked up over the years as well and uh, been able to show them off. Mm. Um, my partner Lisa was involved in the refurbishment of this particular room and I wasn't allowed to have any brewery memorabilia in this room. So, so that's why there is a, it's, uh, it's quite blingy with the chandeliers and the mirrors and things, but I think it works very well. And uh, I'm sure there are people who remember coming to watch uh, bands up here. Um, we did find a poster for uh, Blood Sausage and the Dinosaurs, who were one of the uh, distinguished bands who played up here. <laughs> um, but I, and, and sadly, I never saw any live music up here, I must admit. I was more interested in drinking the beer. But uh, thanks again for um, the award from, from Cameron, it's really appreciated. And uh, um, here's to, uh, to the next one. We're working on the Brewery Tap, finally. Uh, one of the reasons why the Brewery Tap has taken so long is that this came along and um, you know this took up quite a lot of time and money and so uh, the brewery tap is now um, under construction and we ought to have that open in October um, and then we had the other sort of destruction which was the, the black horse which is um, again Kind of try to conserve the whole of the original pictures in there. Yeah, and, um, very good. I think it's working, working really well. It's we've maybe a bit off more than we can chew because there are nine bedrooms to refurbish and the function room. And I've just actually come from Ottawa where we've got uh, a group from Japan who have come over to Ottawa on a walking expedition. So they're having a, um, a buffet in the function room upstairs and with the. The, the local mayor and various other things. So uh, oh. we weren't quite ready for them because uh, the, the function room isn't quite ready. So they're the first people to use it. So hopefully there'll be there'll be more there'll be more points and uh, this kind of style seems to work. So and thank you for supporting us. So thanks very much, everybody. Really appreciate it. And uh, the chicken wings asked on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, so please, please help yourself. Oh, honestly. It was a tremendous honour to, to receive the award at the on Trent with Steve, and after the award we visited his uh, court areas of when he was much younger. And, uh, just for tonight, there is a room that Steve is quite willing to show you how the development of the Cardigan Arms is progressing. And please just have a look in. It, it, it's just huge. It's just, is it not, Steve? It's just an absolute. It's, it's another room that had been um, split into living accommodation, so there was uh, a bathroom in there which should never have been. In there, uh, a fireplace which had been sealed up. So we oh, you yeah, haven't removed that time. lovely bathroom. <laughs> 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 that gorgeous shower. Yeah. It was so beautiful. That's all so <laughs> gone. Um, <laughs> and um, we, again, it's a room for the community. So the idea is that anyone who wants to use that room, we don't charge for the use of our rooms. That's always been our policy. If anyone in the community wants to use it for an event or a birthday or whatever, it's completely free. We hope they're going to buy some beer. Yeah. Um, and um, so it's, it's an extra room for those events. Mm -hmm. And we do have quite a few um, um, things like Pilates and uh, um, uh, yoga and things, classes in here. We have, we're constantly moving furniture around. So we thought mm -hmm. if we create another room for those people, yeah. then, um, mm -hmm. 
we don't have to keep moving stuff around. Sure. But please feel free, Steve, to have a look in. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Great. Right. 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 The buffet is uh, open. Thanks, guys. Thank